Good morning, Colonel Bai. It's Tuesday, January 17th. It's a day two. I'm Cole. And I'm Zol. And here are your morning announcements. Do you enjoy working with elementary school age students? Help out with the Robert Hopkins Breakfast Program. See the board outside of guidance for more information. Club Summit will be having a meeting after school in the library on Wednesday, January 25th. Chartwells, the company that runs our cafeteria, has a customer appreciation day today and someone at CP could win a large pizza. To be eligible to win, you must follow Chartwell on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Are you a graduate pursuing a university program in STEM, interested in applying for the Schulich Leadership Scholarship? The criteria includes a 90% average in grade 11 and 12, leadership skills, and or financial need. See Ms. Badgery and guidance for more information. There's a meeting for Coffee House performers next Tuesday, the 31st. Coffee House is February 9th. Homemade treats will be available at 4, and the show begins at 5.30. It will be a fundraiser for the Muringato School and the Wema Center Orphanage in Kenya. There will be a We Club meeting this Thursday, the 19th, during lunch in room 215. That's it from us today, CB. Here's your sports desk. Cougars. I'm David McNair and I'm Daniel Oladejo and welcome to this week's edition of Sports Desk. It was a busy week in sports so let's go check out how our Cougars did. Our senior girls volleyball team would have a very successful week as they went 2-0 against Louis Riel and Maurice Lapointe. Our junior boys basketball team would fall short to Glebe 63-26. Our senior girls volleyball team took on Pierce Savard at the Cougar Dome. Let's check out how they did. Our senior girls volleyball team would be taking on Pierre Savard in the Cougar Dome. And into first set action we go. The Cougars would have great ball control and teamwork throughout this set, forcing Pierre Savard to make mistakes. However, most of the Cougar smash ins would be unsuccessful, as Pierre Savard would always have an answer. The second set would see more of the same with the Cougars showing great passing and great smashes for points. Overall throughout this game however, Pierre Savard would constantly put more pressure on the Cougars and they couldn't make a comeback. The Cougars would fall short here, 3-0 the final. Tough loss girls but remember, the snow will melt when the sun comes out. Next, our Varsity Boys hockey team took on Franco West. Let's go see how that played out. In this matchup, we see our Colonel Bike Cougars go against the Franco West Vikings in what is sure to be a thriller. This is going to be a tough matchup for our Cougars as Franco West is coming off a two game losing streak and will be looking to rebound. And to kick off the game, we see Marcus Stepto win a nice face-off draw back to our D. Then Colonel Bai's leading goal scorer Henry Wang will go on a breakaway and finish 5-hole. On this breakaway, Carter Cummins stretches across the ice and makes an unbelievable save to keep the Cougars ahead. Despite trailing late in the game, the Cougars' forecheck would still keep coming as they kept pressuring the Franco West D, hoping for a turnover. Our Cougars kept trying and kept getting opportunities, but just couldn't find a way to put the puck in the net. We see here a great pass by Henry Wang as he gives it back to Sean Bailey, looking to capitalize. Sean then shoots the puck along the ice and beats the goalie far side. Despite their best efforts, our Cougars would fall short to Franco West 7-3. Fought battle boys, but remember, Rome was not built in one day. Now we're going to send it over to Cole and Zoll for a special segment. Hello, everybody. I'm Cole. And I'm Zoll. And this is the first edition of the Periodic Obscure Sports Bowl. This week, we're going to be taking a look at an international sport from Gloucester, shin kicking. 
Shin kicking is a very complex and difficult sport to play. Two incredible athletes grapple onto each other and repeatedly kick each other in the shins as they try to pull themselves down. This is the first of many obscure sport competitions. Round one, fight! Well, that's one for Cole, but I can't wait to see what this year has in store for us for the Obscure Sports Bowl. Well, that's all from us Cougars. Here's your highlight of the week. In this week's highlight of the week, we see Carter come and stretch across the ice to make the massive toe save. <laughs> 